Well, it appears more districts are planning on having kids back in the fall. However, as you mentioned, with those COVID-19 hotspots popping up in several different counties, including right here in Livingston County, the Howell Public School District says they have a plan in place to safely bring those kids back to the classroom. I think if I were to say that I could guarantee, you know, guarantee we're not going to have a case, that, that would be a lie. Add the Howell Public School District to the growing list of school districts who say they will have in-person instruction for the school year. I think it's good. I just think they should keep the social distancing and uh, kids need to get back. They need to learn. We can't keep them out of school. The school board approved the district's plan to safely bring students, teachers and staff back. There's certain steps that we're working with the schools to put in place to really mitigate that, that risk. Um, and that includes things such as, you know, daily screenings, um, information about um, for both the staff, volunteers and students. The health director for Livingston and Washtenaw County says he's reviewed reopening plans and says they're all very fluid, especially when deciding how to social distance the kids. Is it possible to keep children in a, in a cohort or a pod to kind of keep them, you know, to the same group together? So I would say that, you know, the, this, the plans that are presented are um, at this point a sort of a I would say fluid and work in work in progress. Recent hotspots of COVID-19 include Oakland County, Genesee and Livingston counties with a rise in cases in both South Lyon and Fenton. The rise is in 15 to 19 year old kids who reported going to large outdoor and indoor gatherings. A mother of two telling me off camera she doesn't feel comfortable sending her children back to the classroom, while other parents say kids need to get back to learning in schools. I think they should go through with the plan. I think they should just keep all the procedures to where it's at. And just like other school districts, the Howell Public School District says that they will have an option of virtual learning for those who don't feel safe coming back to the classroom. Reporting live in Howell tonight, I'm Alan Campbell. Glenda, back to you.